right, here we go. <laughs> so you can tell it's raining out here. Um, I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. Headed to a place that I've been trying to check for, I've been going into for the last several years. Um, finding a way down to it. Um, it's a natural bridge type thing uh, where the water goes underground and on top is sagebrush, everything, and then a few hundred, two hundred yards down the drainage, it comes out again. And uh, uh, we saw it from the air one time. Anyway, that'd be a good day. <laughs> Get out here and there's a storm. So, anyway, just thought I'd make a quick little video about it. Uh, and uh, we'll touch base as we go through this. All right, well, here I am. This is where I was headed. Right down there, that bottom that you see there in the big brush and the rock, there's actually a tunnel that goes underneath there, a natural tunnel where the water runs. Uh, it comes in up there at the head by, oh, 100 feet up that way. Then it runs underneath and it comes out right here. You see where it opens up. Well, for, I guess it is at least 2005, maybe. Probably 2005, we were flying, looking for water with, uh, when we did Wilderness Quest. Flew through here, and I saw this. And ever since, I've been wanting to get down here to it to see what it was, see what's inside the tunnel, if anything. It's, a, you know, it's kind of cool. I've never seen anything sort of like it out here. Um, it's wide, you know, so it's not like a bridge. Well, it's a bridge, but a lot different than what you normally see, or that I've seen anyway. So I wanted to come in and see it. I have hiked in from that side of things. And as you can tell, I got cliffed out over there. Couldn't get down. Um, I have hiked in from the top down the canyon, got cliffed out, couldn't get down, had to go back, and I've flown in here in a helicopter, and we've hovered about in here somewhere, looked at it, um, it was just a real warm day and everything, and couldn't really get the lift we needed to land and be able to take off again, so, anyway, I hiked in here to do this, and it ain't gonna happen, and as you can tell, it's gonna rain. <laughs> so I'm gonna get up a level, find a little overhang to get under. Um, I get some really good shots here of a flash flood coming down this narrow canyon, especially there's a huge waterfall up here, big pour off that'd be cool to see. So I'm gonna do that and uh, we'll talk to you soon. All right, um, so I found this little, you can see a little overhang. Right now it's sort of light rain. If it gets heavier and I decide to, I'm gonna crawl up in this spot right there. Looks like it stays dry, fairly dry, better than it would out here. So, we should see, right there's a big pour off. There's the drainage that comes down. Um, so we'll just see. What happens here? I'm sure we'll get some water running. Definitely got some lightning going. I think I'm gonna scoot back just a little bit, try to stay as dry as I can. And uh, probably eat some lunch. Okay. Uh, I think the storm's here. <laughs> here I am, underneath my little overhang. We'll definitely get some flash going here. I may make it back down there to try to get a picture of it coming over the waterfall, over the pour off. But, uh, you know, some people that think this sucks and uh, they'd rather be somewhere else. Why not me? This is it. This is what it is all about right here. I love this. There's nothing better than this. I'll tell you, I may be crazy, but I love this stuff. I love sitting out here watching the rain, you know, 
you know, and there's nothing I can do about getting wet. Except try to get up underneath something. Do my best. Can't manipulate Mother Nature. Don't have anybody telling me I can't sit under this overhang right now. Or, you know what I mean? This is just life at its purest right here. You make it or break it yourself and it's your decisions you make out here that you'll either live or die. It's your choice. And if you're stupid, you'll die. Or you may live and learn. It could happen to any of us. Anyway, good times. Very good times. So, when it starts flashing, I'll uh, turn you back on and we'll do some filming. Maybe get some cool pictures here. Um, and go from there. See ya. I'm back for a sec. We just had some lightning hit somewhere really close. <laughs> <laughs> I jumped a little bit that's for sure for sure might even peed a little <laughs> just kidding yeah, it uh boy that was loud <laughs> oh crud anyway air running going down in that canyon and live A good one. That wasn't as close as these other ones, but well, it opened up the open up the cloud anyway. Here comes more. Gosh, I'll probably get washed right off here. I don't know. Sides coming in. Nothing down the bottom yet. All right, so I scooted up in here a little bit further. I was dripping there on the edge a little. We've got uh, we've got definitely some water running over there now. Ooh, there's a nice lightning strike. <laughs> yeah. Still nothing coming down the drainage yet, but it'll take it a little bit to build up, I'd imagine. It's uh, letting up now, so that's good. Um, it'll take it a little bit, then it'll come down. We'll get some going over the big pour off, maybe. But, uh, uh, whoa, there was a good one right over in there. Good lightning and thunder, that's for sure. All right, well, <laughs> we're wet. Storm's passing by, sun's coming out. We just had uh, some lunch. Uh, it's called chicken fajitas, MRE. Learned a valuable lesson. MREs last for almost ever. But um, packages of tuna that you buy, you know, that are in the sealed packages, uh, they don't quite last. At least not 10 years. <laughs> oh, man. So, anyway, so we had a little bit of lunch. Chill out a little bit here, and uh, then we'll head out. All righty, uh, trying to get this little. Can you see me? Yeah, I'm very well. But anyway, uh, I made it out. My hip held out, sore, a little tired. 
Um, but I'm out. I'm on my way home. And uh, it's a good day. Roads aren't bad at all. A few mud puddles here and there. But other than that, things were good. Hope you enjoyed the video. The Nashville friends, they think I'm strange. Make my home out on the range. Think it's nothing but a godforsaken land. Don't you bring your guitar family and move on down to Tennessee. Well, I just smile because they don't understand.